This is Esther Crawford, your eye voice here in Madison, Wisconsin, the center of the national debate between legislators and unions over workers' rights and compensation. What's disgusting? Union busting! What's disgusting? Union busting! I came out today to learn more about the issue. I worry because my state has dug itself into a hole. And yeah, of course, government workers deserve fair wages, but with many cities and states on the verge of bankruptcy, something has to change. I work in the school system, and so it directly affects me, but also I think that um, all citizens, not just of Wisconsin, but of the nation, need to come to the realization that this is having, or will have, a, a broad effect on all of all unions, not just public sector unions. Tens of thousands of protesters have descended on Madison with up to 70,000 on one day alone to show their frustration over unions potentially losing their decades-long collective bargaining rights. Protesters claim they're willing to make the necessary concessions to balance the state budget and say the deficit is a pretext for union busting. We brought our kids today just so they could see what I'm fighting for as a teacher. We're willing to pay into our um, retirement fund. We're willing to pay for our benefits because we know everywhere people are doing those things. But we don't understand the collective bargaining aspect has absolutely nothing to do with the budget. Tea Party groups are applauding the changes and believe unions in the public sector should be weakened because they see government workers as having benefits that are fiscally unsustainable. Teachers unions have had a particularly tough year with the release of the documentary Waiting for Superman and ongoing discussions about the hold teachers unions have on school districts. My children both go to public school and I volunteer in my kids' classrooms quite a bit and I see all the hard work that our teachers do and they don't really honestly get paid for the amount of work that they do. And you know what little thing that they would have left would be collective bargaining. Usually when you're thinking of massive protests, you think Washington, D.C., but here we are in the Capitol Rotunda of Madison, Wisconsin, and we find this is really the epicenter of the national struggle over unions and collective bargaining rights. Walking into the rotunda, you hear people shouting, this is what democracy looks like, and you can't help but kind of feel the infectious excitement for all these folks coming out together to stand up for what they really believe in. If you look at any business, if they have a voice in, in how things are, are run, the, the, the business is going to run better. This is just the beginning as citizens and legislators question the role of unions and offer up potential solutions for how they could evolve.